Yep. Got stuck. And I'm so under leveled there, the chance of like surviving that is extremely low. Like it's very close to zero. Especially with two of them. What's up, Peen Train? <laughs> What's up, Hawes? No, it's definitely my fault. I'm the one that did it. I tried to turn a little too early, but I was going to have to cut that, like, perfectly for him to not get me, and I did it a little too early. Just a little bit. That was the warm-up. I mean, that was going to be cutting it real close regardless. What's up, Hannibal? Congrats again on the PB, man. It's a good run. Moved up to second place. Pretty good beating uh, James's old time because that time stood for eight months. This photo one is stood for about ten. So, were you saying you're not really interested in this category? It's kind of tedious to run, I'm not going to lie. Like, at least no out of bounds, a lot of shit. It's kind of like glitchless. But, th like, this whole entire run is just different. It's just so easy to fuck things up. Like, I've been running this for, what, like, past couple nights. I haven't even finished a run yet. I just keep forgetting things. Like, last night I didn't get the melody after Playgrat, and that's what activates the photo trigger. Yeah, it's very technical. While well, I was saying, when people were like, oh, world record first try, I'm like, that ain't gonna happen. Like, I knew there was a chance that I could for No Out of Bounds. Just after watching the run, I'm like, alright, like, most of the RNG sections didn't go that well. And, uh, you know, it kind of plays to my strengths, having a lot of shit from Glitchless and from Any Percent. But this is just shit you've never done before. It's, like, all new. Yeah, it could be done. I mean, Arithium had a single segment getting the hat, although it's a lot less consistent because there, there's more NPCs you have to walk by, and that's kind of tricky movement to get up into the clubhouse. And then you'd have to get the map on top of that, although there are, I don't think there are any NPCs in the town or the library. Exactly, like I'm like it's hard enough just to finish a damn run because if you forget one little trigger somewhere Yeah, it would be nice It sucks that in winters we we have to go get the defense spray because of the uh, You know the photos down there anyway, so because when I first looked at this I was like, oh wow He went down and got the defense spray. That's a nice time save and I'm like, oh, yeah you gotta sleep to activate the trigger, so there's there's really not much reason to not get the defense spray in this route. Or in this run. What's up, Count Creep? Thanks for luck. Don't you agree? <clears throat> but I should have a fairly free PB. Like, if I hit the summer stairs glitch the first time, and if I hit my magic camp manip the first try, I should have a pretty free PB. What's up, Mozzie? Now, James told me that you could do magic camp with spawns off, but you would still have to manip the kraken skips. It's really hard to get past them with four kids. And if you're doing that, you might as well just manip the nightmare fight. 
You would have to go get the diamond in post game and then the other shit like leading up to department store. He said he thought that car painter turned spawns back on, but it doesn't. The diamond does. I was saying that earlier. But yeah, Hannibal, something I realized yesterday. I don't know if you were here when I was having all those problems at Boogie Tent. Like exactly where you save on the phone in the museum actually matters a lot. Like in other categories where you only use it to go out of bounds, it doesn't. But when you're also doing Manip, going out of bounds happens after the hard reset. And the soft reset, as you know, doesn't reset the RNG value. So that's part of the Manip. And there are NPCs outside moving as you die. So where you save determines how far you make it out the door and onto the stairs before you die. And I was saving like really far right on the phone, I guess just out of habit. Because that's like in Ultimo's route, you had to. I didn't realize that for James's route, you wanted to be closer to the middle. Like for this route, you want to be kind of like just right of the center, like the middle of the phone a little bit. But the problem is if you go too far left, then you have the problem where if you don't move cleanly enough outside, you die as you're still transitioning on the stairs, and it's kind of like the uh, the slingshot type thing, like from Pajama Percent. Like, in order to go out of bounds, you have to be done transitioning when you die. If you're still transitioning, then you're, you're like, still kind of on the stairs. They take advantage of that in Pajama Percent. But hopefully I'm at the point where I can quit studying this shit. I'll tell you what, like, lately I've just been working my ass off on this game. Like, first it was de-rusting any percent. Learning the new Sea of Eden. Learning the new Magic Camp Manip. Got that very quickly. Then I'm like, alright, let's learn the whole entire No Out of Bounds run. Even though a lot of it's the same as Glitchless, but still. Had to do that, make notes, practice, you know, learn some new cliff skips, de-rust all the old shit that I hadn't done in forever, did all that shit, only got to fucking coast for a couple of days, and then I'm like, all right, let's learn something completely new, go through all this shit, and it's a completely different route. Like, I did this back in June, but of course I'm like, I'm gonna do a different route, so I gotta relearn the whole fucking thing all over again. I might as well have not ever done it. So I've just been busting my ass lately. Do you know how much easier it is just to fire up Glitchless every night? <laughs> not learn a goddamn thing. Like, it's so much easier. But, you know, woo! Gold on these splits. But, you know, I've got goals and you gotta work towards them. Like, you gotta put in the work up front and then you get to enjoy the fruits of the labor. But damn does it suck when it takes longer than you thought. Like, I did not expect to have problems at Boogie. So hopefully I'm at the point where I can just focus on runs, you know? Because that's why I like doing more. Like, don't get me wrong. I like doing the, the studying and stuff. This category, not as much as others, you know? Like, this is not one of my favorite categories. Although, maybe it'll grow on me. No Out of Bounds, I really liked that, honestly. I do like this route, though. This is a pretty cool route. I like the Summer's Stairs glitch that we do. But there's just a lot. You you have to know a lot with this category about all the different triggers. And I know, even though I haven't really run this a lot, I know a lot about them from talking to Ultimo and James about it and from watching both of them. Like, knowing that the melody is what triggers it. But there's a lot of weird things that you would never know just from doing Glitchless that you would only know from doing shit out of order. Like, for example, that Mani Mani is what puts the Broken Phase Distorter with the Horn of Life in Cave of the Present. That's why it's not there in any percent, because you don't do that. But you gotta know, like, what turns off spawns and shit like that. Alright, here we go. It, it is. There's a lot of them that are just head scratchers. It's like, okay, I don't know why that does it. Um, you know, I can't remember. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but I'm not positive. So I'm not comparing against PB. I'm comparing against 
last night's run just so I have something to compare to. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't think you can. Well, no, you can't because there's no way to get there. You can't get them while you're out of bounds. You would have to go through a door to transition back in bounds and it would force you to fight the boss. You basically are stuck inside of it when you go through the door. Because I don't think there's any way to get back in bounds at any of them. You would have to have a door that doesn't have a boss on the other side of it. Oh, yeah, true. No, I, you know what? I think I tested that. And I don't think it works. I think you have to actually beat them. You're right. That is one where that would be possible. I think that's like the only one because most of the others, the boss is like right on top of the door and you're stuck inside of them when you go through it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I tested that. Um... I think so, because you need the sandwiches. I would have to think about it. Because we have to buy some shit in Berglund. Oh yeah, true. That's right. Didn't think about that. I think I did this yesterday, and I think it worked. That was ballsy as fuck. I think I got spawns out here, though. So I did another AB. Did that work? Kind of. Close. I still need to work on this. I didn't think about this earlier when I was practicing. I need to find a good manip all the way here. I mean, that was decent, but I lost a little bit of time walking around him. So let's see how much money I have left after this. Like, you only get nine from the bat, and you just, we just barely have enough even with it. Yeah, I've only got two dollars left. I mean, I guess I could cut out one of those and get the skip in three from the trash because we skip it in this route. I think it's technically faster to buy it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer that question and say I can't read it right at this minute. Come on, I got in here like immediately last time. Yo, Arts and Crofts, man. Thanks for the seven months. Fuzzy Pickles. Thank you for the seven months, man. What's going on? So. Oh. Come on. There we go. Dude, really? Whatever. To get the boss no there wouldn't be enough because there's a spawn max of 10 you can only well, after 10 enemies are loaded it, the game won't load anymore an aa yeah i can't i can't remember what i used to do i need to go back to my one of my old any percent vods and see what i used to do there with the save and quit barricade skip i just can't remember Oh, good luck with the commentary, man. You cannot propose to me on stream. It's not allowed. Oh, fuck. Sad boys. All right. Yeah, I had something. I just don't remember what it was. All right, I, dude, I'm not going to safety save in winners. If I fuck it up, I'll just do it again. Whatever. 
I feel pretty good about those skips. I did it yesterday. Hell, I, I safety saved three times in the in my first no out of bounds run, the one that was a three oh seven. Well, I improved it. There there are no safety saves in the in the record now. The three oh four oh six. That's why I kept going. I'm like, dude, am I really happy with a run with three safety saves? I didn't use them, but I made them. They waste time. Yeah, that puts Paul in the party. It also revives any dead party members. Hey, Super Famicom. Thank you, man. Have a good lurk. All right, what do we get here? Just the pop gun. All right. Do not sell the boiled egg. I think I did that one run. You know, if you were doing this and you were a beginner and you didn't like all the cliff skips, you could safety save in the lab and then safety save again in Brick Road after getting the photo when you come out. There's a phone at the end. We actually used to use it to set up uh, Pond Cave Manip when I, when I first started doing any percent. We would do a non-manipulated brick road and then save and reset there and do Pond Cave Manip. But you could save there just in case. That way you wouldn't have to redo all of it. But yeah, this is not a very... I, I would say this is not a beginner-friendly category, not at all. There are a lot of intricacies to it. Although like James pointed out, he used to use, he used to do a, an easier route and people still didn't do it. What am I doing? Only get the hat. Got to get the hat to leave. We need the money anyway, but you got to get the hat to leave. Don't have to equip it. I think any percent is still more technical because of how extensive the manip is. But besides that, ooh, nice. I mean, this has manip in it, but it's not as much. But after that, then yeah, this probably is. This category also has a lot of shit that you don't see in other categories. So it's kind of specialized. Fuck no. All right, let's get the photo. How many people see me get the photo here and they're like, oh man, he failed the photo skip. Boom, 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 boom. Panic! Nice thing about it, you don't have to wait for that guy. Oh, give me a goat. Give me a goat. Not a goat. Not a goat. Dude, this happened the other day. Oh my god. Please! Oh, give me a goat! Dude, motherfucker! 
Oh my god, I'm losing so much time. Where is a goat? Fucking finally. That was dumb. And the gut save. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. And he missed! Fucking kill me! What are you waiting for? Kill me! That's so stupid. Instagram, why? <laughs> oh, man. How many do I get here? Three? I'm not gonna save. Fuck it. Oh, now I get a goat when I don't want one. Uh, all the RNG parts are going very poorly. Hey, it's like we heard you wanted goats, man. You didn't say when. He almost tagged me. That would've been bad. Oh, oh, shit, dude. I got stuck and he was like, activate turbo booster. The fuck? He's like, he's stuck. Now's my chance. I'm like, get him. Dude, why can't I get in there? Jeff can't fit in. This is not a good fucking start. Oh, give me the fucking shit. There we go. About fucking time. Dude, he was too big. Oh, yeah, was it good? Who won? Yo, nice, Plivius. Wow, I can't believe you beat James. Pumpkin, no. Sub boop adapt. All right, let's see if I can not get stuck here. I did it. Eight cultists. Holy shit. Okay, even with all that. We're still ahead of last run, but I safety saved last run. Did it actually say AA or was it just A again? I've seen it wrap. I've heard it goes, it wraps to A, goes to B, and goes back to A. But I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. I've seen that. I don't like this cliff skip. I don't like it. I don't understand it. I don't like it. I got it. That wasn't bad. No, it goes to H. It wraps at I. Instead of I, it's A. And I've heard it goes to B and then back to A. Tap. Ouch. I I'm 100% positive about it. I've had it. Yeah, it goes it goes through H, and then instead of I, it goes to A. Now, I've heard it goes to B and back to A, but I've never seen that myself. Hey, Boopadap, thanks for the eight months, man. Appreciate it.
Yeah, I don't need no stinking safety save. Damn, that's crazy. Exactly, Royal. Just kill it. All right, so I need to save on the left side of the phone here. Andonuts is kind of in my way. Get the fuck out of the way. Cool. I was able to squeeze in between it. GG to Brash, man. I'm gonna go use bathroom during this uh, cutscene. You're being. Advance my notes here. Gotta watch this NPC. Right, right is optimal. Down, I'll have to do one extra cursor input. Right, right. So what we got? Just selling the hat. We get the map, get the hat, and then we overflow the barricade. Gotta get the town map, too. We sell the hat and the cracked bat. Cracked bat only sells for nine, though. Man, sounds good. It's so much nicer only having to do stairs one. Two and three are the scary ones. Get it. Good.
So convenient, you can just stay on that upright diagonal to hit that. So convenient. Yep, we got one more. Here's the run killer. What's up, Fnog? Got it. Okay, I've got a new queue here. I'm not going to use seconds. I'm going to watch the ghost. Hope it works. Raj show? Never heard of it. Got it. Still got it. Timing could be slightly different, you know, since console versus emulator. Yeah, I mean, it can still happen, but definitely not, not as likely without it. Yeah, not as much, but it could still happen. Thank you. Well, the magic can't. Now going to Mole Cave. Nice. Cool. I hope that's good. That's kind of far left on the phone, but I only had one HP left. So I had to do it. I had to just go for it and hope it's good. I hope, I hope this is good. I need to delete the gold here for that photo because that was bad. The position does matter. I learned that yesterday. It matters for Manip later on. What's up, Sir Billup? So that's a fake gold counting down because I forgot to do this one time and went and got the photo. So I was left of where I was aiming. Could still work though, we'll see. Not like pixel perfect or anything. This we'll find out soon enough.
feel like normally that guy is in my way, so we'll see what's up. We'll know when I go out of bounds from the department store. That's what James uses to see what RNG is on, like how good his file two RNG is, or where, like what it is for the manip or whatever. But yeah, the reason why it matters is we do a lot of hard resets and then go out of bounds and then load file one. The soft reset does not reset the RNG values. So going out of bounds on file two is part of the manip. He did. Do you see the little ghost to his right? He brought a friend. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people say they were scared of this part. Yo, Kier, thanks for the 17 months, man. <laughs> it just brought me back up. You know, sometimes it's just meant to be, man. Just meant to be. Thanks for the 17 months. No, I saw it. I mean, I saw the resub message, if that's what you're talking about. That's funny. Jack Sparrow it is. There are a lot of glitches. A lot of out of bounds. You're going to see stuff in this run that you probably won't see in any other category. I hate that fake gold there. I forgot about that. I'll have to delete it. Yeah, one, one run I just completely forgot. And I guess I saved my splits. I completely forgot to go make the out of bounds file. I went and got the photo prematurely right here. Now it'll stop. So I'm still not sure if my save was good. Guess we'll find out. I guess I should life up a little later just so I have more time to line that up. Because lifing up right after the photo, you have like almost no time. And since it matters so much, at least here early on I uh what are these fucking splits I should probably be more careful about it bum, 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 bum. I guess I did shit out of order in that run yesterday yeah, I, I got the bike photo or the beach photo too early in that run yesterday. <laughs> I reset and did it again. Yeah, I'm on console. Do the setup command to get my setup or uh, look on my profile. It's not world record pace. I'm like a minute behind record. Minute six. I've got a world record delta at the bottom.
Oh, yeah, that's right. Then I had to, like, skip these photos. I got this one out of order and shit. Like, a lot of shit happened yesterday. Th these are not my PB splits. I'm running against last run. Because my PB is from a different route that I did back in June. And it's, like, complete, completely different. So, can't compare. I think that's right. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, that looks right, I think. I think we're good. Not positive, though. I missed this photo yesterday and had to come back for it. Apparently, you can walk above it. So I made sure to find a good visual cue to make sure I hit it. So I had to skip both these photos. Hey, Snoop Dude, thanks for luck, man. Bum, 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 bum. All right, moment of truth is coming up with Boogie Tent. So this is where I had a bunch of trouble yesterday, but I was practicing it earlier. We'll see if it paid off. And assuming my save is good, I'm not positive about that. But we're about to find out. Because this right here is part of the manip. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right, I got the dog on the left. Sweet. I think we're good. Should hit Jeff, and I should fire it and one shot him. Hell yeah! Get the fly, honey. Go to the drugstore. No, that's Manip. Calculated. Oh, no, unless that's the joke. You're, uh, you, you're probably joking about that, right? But if, you didn't, if, if you're being serious, that was Manip. Because I called it before it happened. I said he should hit him and then one shot. I assume you're joking about the Manip, though. Yeah. I figured you were. So much mashing. No, not even close, Lovebird. It's like three full minutes of mashing at Nightmare. OK. 
Okay, get Paula, then go to Foresight. Listening for Paula's theme in the shack. Might be next. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to teleport Beta to Foresight. Go talk to the manager. Trying to keep up with my notes before I get there. I don't have to stop and read. Reading is lame. What's up, Ludox? We don't want to read. Okay, I'm talking to the manager, so I want to go this way. Gotta talk to the manager to open Mole Cave. Yeah, if you've never seen this before, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go outside and teleport to Onet and out of bounds from the hotel. And then I'm gonna go to the shack from that out of bounds. Shack! What's up, Lumina? Okay, so go to the hotel. Whenever I say out of bounds, that means saving on the phone, resetting, dying on file two on the stairs, and then resuming file one. Yeah, Karen wishes to speak to the manager. Okay, so go to the shack, feed Pooh's water, not Jeff's boiled egg. It's going well, Lumno. This is probably the the cleanest run I've had so far without like any major problems happening. I didn't do any safety saves in this one either. Okay, so we're going down to the shack. It's the bumpy music. But I put in my notes for whatever reason. Like boom, bump, 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 bump. It's bumpy, dude. It's bumping. Okay, give him Pooh's water. Got to sleep. Give Paula's teddy to Ness. Okay. It's a minor time save to wait. Because once you come out here this time, you've got all those sprites up there and they add lag. So moving the teddy inside means you don't have that extra sprite on screen. I had to give it to Ness to activate it. If Paula glitches into your party, her teddy is not active until you give it to someone. Spawns are off now since I teleported away from the shack fight. Okay, so the first mole's the scariest because I do not have freeze bait on Paula yet. But that's what the Teddy's for, right? Teddy has a 75% chance to take a hit. Ooh, nice out speed. Could we get a uh, solidify? Nope. Shield, that's fine. Hopefully this will kill. Nice. Didn't have to do the rock in. Minor time saves. Save psychic points. And we still have the Teddy. So she'll have freeze beta now. I know, man. It's all bumping. So I won't have to do any more rockins. Ness will only be used for life ups. I need to remember to do the BBR on Mole 5. I forgot to do that yesterday. Um, You would have to save and reset in the shack to do it. And with freeze beta on both Poo and Paula, it's not really worth it. Because the spawns are off. The main reason to manip it would be to get a free walk, but we already have one. 
So you'd be wasting like, what is it, like 40 seconds to set up the manip or whatever with the save and reset and everything. Now with her having freeze beta along with Poo, it's, uh, they're, they're pretty easy fights. But yeah, there's just not really... I, I just don't think it would be worth it. Like, you, I think you would lose time to a good mole cave where they're all, like, one-round fights. Because you're not going to be able to one-shot them other than, like, with a BBR. Breeze can't do enough to one-shot them. Oh, yeah. I've heard some of his stuff. Okay, there goes the Teddy. See, so watch this with two freeze betas. I think they're guaranteed to kill. The mole only has 386 HP. Plus, you get a 25% chance of solidification with both of them. And Pooh is fast enough that he outspeeds the mole a lot. So if he goes first and solidifies it, then it's basically a free fight. What's up, username? Okay, get the BBR, skip the picnic lunch. George Clanton, never heard of him. Never heard of him. Did I already get the BBR and give it to him? I didn't skip the BBR, did I? Why do I feel like I skipped the BBR? If I did, I'm just gonna freeze these motherfuckers. I feel like I skipped it. I think I wasn't paying attention. I'll just have to sleep if so. To make up Pooh's psychic points. Did anybody see if I got it? I feel like I missed it, which is kind of silly. I, I mean, I picked it up yesterday and I didn't even... I didn't even use it. Yeah, I didn't get it. Derp. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I picked it up yesterday and I didn't even use it, which was even dumber. Time save for next run. Okay, I need to life up Jeff. You know, I guess I could have just gotten the Psy Caramel instead of sleeping, but it's too late now. I didn't think about that. That's fine, though. It'll just lose a few seconds. And I mean, I saved time on not picking it up. Although then I lost time on looking to see if I had it. Okay, and we skipped the Platinum Band. Because I picked that up yesterday, too. Thank you, Durko. All right, so exit mouse out, get the photo. I like Vaporwave. I've been listening to it a ton. Da, 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 da. 
All right, so talk to the guy. And then I'll have to sleep since I didn't get the BBR. And use more psychic points. Doesn't take that long. Hell, I think James had to go get the life noodles here because Paul was dead in the uh, in the record. Did I go too high. Okay, where are we going after this? Teleport to Tucson and go to the hotel. And then go to Scaraba. Go to the hotel. Who has... Sunstroke. No, Jeff has it. Okay, we are going upright and using the map after the hotel goes off screen. I'm going to Scaraba. So use the map, which draw 7,000. Okay, get two bombs and three BBRs on Jeff. Two. No. Oh, it's a stupid time loss. It is. Put four on Pooh. If it had been a bomb, I could have just left it there, but only Jeff can use the rockets. Okay, put three on Paula. And then one on Ness. I buy on Ness last, because his inventory opens every time. Even when I'm going to the other kids. And the more items you have, the more the inventory lags. So I fill him up last, lag reduction strat. Okay, get the Scarab photo, get the Crystal Charm on Jeff. Get the Pyramid photo and then teleport to Tucson. There's so much going on in this run. And like I said, I don't have this all memorized. It's a lot to remember. Go get the pyramid photo. Okay, after this, teleport to Tucson. Feed Apple Kid Jeff's boiled egg, not Paula's bread roll, because that's part of the manipulator. Okay, teleport to Tucson.
Feed Apple Kid. Got it. The taxi go off screen. I don't think I did. I feel lag. I feel lag. I guess it's just laggy here because I have all four kids. More sprites. Okay, feed him Jeff's boiled egg. I think it's the first item in his inventory. Hello, please talk. I think it adds like, what, like 20 minutes to the run, something like that. So it depends on how fast you could do glitchless. Ultimo did it in G SGDQ 2017 because getting all photos was a uh, donation incentive. But I mean, for most people to do, I mean, for me, I could probably do it pretty quick. I don't, I think it only took him, what, like 420 without any manip. What's up, Quiramos? Hope I said that right. The well, spawns are still off here. So far, so good on this run. Well, there are 32 photos, and it takes 20 seconds per photo with the photo guy. But the 30-second the photo is just automatically added, so it doesn't take any time for that one. Load the pencil. You won't get the uh, phone call if you don't do that. So after the phone call, I'm going to teleport back to Tucson and go in the back door to Berglund, the back entrance. It's faster than walking. Get the pencil eraser, teleport to Foreside, and then go to the hotel. Uh, he calls roughly every two hours. But due to all the hard resets, I keep resetting the dad timer, so he's never going to call. An interesting teleport. Okay, go to the hotel. Hotel. Hotel California. Brings me out right at it. Okay, we're gonna go right into Monkey Cave, up right to Moonside, right to Starman Base. Gotta go down the stairs first. All right, so what did I say? Right to Monkey Cave, upright to Moonside, right to Starman Base. And when I say the areas, I'm referring to the music, so I'm listening. The exit mouse. Okay, do an L before Starman. Do... So it's gonna be Bomb, Bomb, BBR, Bomb. And then Bash, Bash, BBR, Bash. Number of cursor movements to each item is 2131. Return 1. And then just 1... 
Return two. So two one three one. That's part of the manip. Two one three one. Okay, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, I can't do it in one. Whatever. That works. So that's two, but it still works. Maybe my note's wrong. But that was an owl speed, too. Okay, talk to Ando nuts. Exit mouse out. I wonder if you could get a one round there. I might need to look into that and see if I can manip a one round. I'd also save a BBR. Because he's got 1,400 HP. Yeah, they, they'd all have to hit really high. I don't see that happening. Okay, we're going to exit. We're going to talk to Ando Nuts. Exit mouse wrong warp to PRV. Because we went out of bounds in here, so it didn't update the exit mouse location. Uh, the, Boley, these are not my PB splits. I'm running against last run, so this is... I'm comparing against last night's run. I I am ahead, though. I would imagine. Nothing's went wrong in this run, really. And uh, I haven't done any safety saves, so I should be ahead. I mean, hell, right now it says I'm only 33 seconds behind the record. So I'm definitely ahead of PB. Because the record did the same route. I'm doing the record route. Oh, nice. He came down to me. That's a little minor time save. Okay, so get the photo. And then teleport to Onet and get the Shyness book. Did you send him a message? What's up, DC Code? You might have forgotten. Okay, so we're going to teleport to Onet, get the Shyness book, and then go to Tucson and go to the department store. China's book. How do you get there normally? Um, you ride Tessie again, and then it's in the, the hole at Stonehenge. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to teleport to Tucson, go to the department store. Department store. Okay, we're going to deep dankness. I missed the reset button. I had to hit it again. It abbreviated nitrous. Live split is set to abbreviate it. It's not missing. The name is so long that when the delta was there, it would run into it. I guess I could change it to not abbreviate it. If you check the VOD, you'll see it was there before I split. Are you saying that the number was gone even before? Because it's, it's... I assume so. Could be wrong, but I thought you were just talking about the abbreviation. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. Whoops, I keep doing that. Well, if it was gone before, then I just forgot it. I assumed that it just truncated it because of the uh, the abbreviation. I'll mess with it later. But thank you. Appreciate it. And then I'll probably set it to, like, not even abbreviate. I'll just have it just trail off. the backslide. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Talk to Tenda. Get the thing. Yeah, I thought it was there. But, I'll look. I mean, you feel free to check the VOD. Chat, chat, whisper, whisper. It was there? Okay, cool. Appreciate you looking out for me, though. Thank you. There's a setting. You can change it. I don't know why it took off the number, but not the, not the pound sign. Kind of weird. All right, I'm going to, we'll beat him later. We're going to Dungeon Man. And I need to remember to go a few seconds into Dungeon Man so that I'm not at risk of hitting the, uh... Drop it in the hole. Like, I should probably go, like, four seconds or something. I meant to check that and make a note of it. Um, down left until Dungeon Man, but I want to get past the hole. Because it's possible I could, un I could load the area and be right on top of the hole. Two, three, four. That should be good. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Other than hitting the sign. So I'll have to add that to my notes. I never actually fell down the hole, but... You know, it's something that could happen. Because I know the holes are active. I've gone down them before. Talk to face, withdraw 4,600. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Go out and get the photo. Go to the right and buy three MBRs on Jeff. Go down, teleport to Tucson for an exit mouse. You don't like it? It's like Sergeant Peppers. Oh, Dungeon Man, I thought you meant this one, the Megaton Walk. Okay, teleport to Tucson. Hey, 
Hey, I got it. That's a kind of a tight teleport there. Wait, exit mouse. Going the wrong way. I have to come from Tucson because I never beat Captain Strong, so the barricade is still there. And then I'm going to teleport to Foreside and get the Monotoli building photo. And then go inside the building. Okay, four side. No problem here, you think so? Like the Super Metroid jingle sounds like it says, you just got an item. Uh, Metasudo, welcome, Gold Man. Uh, these are not my PV splits. I'm comparing against Blazin. I'm comparing against yesterday's run, but it's still good. You can look at the world record delta to get a better idea what my pace is. Okay, we're going to go upright off the corner of the room to Saturn Valley and then right to Lumen Hole. Yeah, much better compared to yesterday. I just wanted something to compare against. Instead of every split having no delta. So, upright to Saturn Valley, right to Lumen Hole. Yeah, I was still learning a lot yesterday, but I did some practice today, and I think I got all the problems from yesterday figured out. Okay, teleport back to Underworld, go get the C pendant. Got the alpha. Okay, get the C pendant, and then do a beta to four side. What are we doing for side? I'll look in a sec. Uh, get the bridge photo and the diamond. Get the bridge photo and the diamond. What's up, Rosetta? Okay, let's try these flowers. Perfect. Good visual cue. That was perfect. Didn't want to overshoot it. That'd be extra walking. Okay, after the diamond, teleport back to Foreside and give the diamond to the manager. And then watch the show. Getting the diamond here, this is a cutscene, so it turns spawns back on. There is a potential route improvement to come do this during post game. Well, I, wait a minute, I would have to think about that. Would that not turn spawns back on? James was telling me about it, but... Maybe spawns... I wonder if spawns can even be turned back on in post-game. Or if they're just permanently off. I don't know. Because if they're permanently off, you could do that during post-game and it wouldn't turn them back on. 
sea of gold. Alright, so watch the show, then go trigger the kidnapping. Yeah, I'll think about that later. I don't want to think about it right now and mess me up. There's a lot to keep straight when you're doing this run. But James was saying to come back and get the diamond in post-game when you're going to do, like, delay the department store stuff. And you should be able to do magic ant with spawns off. You would still have to manip the Kraken skips, though, because it's really hard to skip them with all four kids. You have to watch this show to unlock the department store. The department store is closed until you do this. I hope my... Remember my save earlier? I hope my save works for the... <clears throat> for the Magicant Manip. It'll be really nice to... change it to where you don't have to worry about all that. And you still have the Kraken skips. Hey, sweatery weather, what's up? Yeah, there's not a lot of input breaks in this run, but at least it's shorter than it used to be. All right, so go trigger the kidnapping, then leave, teleport to Onet, and go out of bounds from the hotel. And then do car painter. Hey, glad you're enjoying it. This run is going much better than uh, yesterday. As you can see, I'm actually comparing against yesterday's run since I don't have a PB yet in this category. I hope I get a PB so that I have splits to run against. You gotta go up and down to trigger the kidnapping. Hey, nice man. That'd be a nice time save. I have yet to complete a run with this route. <laughs> I think. I don't think I've completed one. Alright, so teleport to... Onet. Go to the hotel. Right. I do have a PB. It's a 217. But... Like John says, completely different route, so I can't compare against it. Okay. Go down until the room is off screen. Yes, it is Peen Train. If you look down at the current pace predictor, it says latest in parentheses, meaning latest run. That Just that way I have deltas, you know. I didn't complete a run yesterday, but I did get the post game. Okay, so we are going to Car Painter, BBR. I bet, man. Okay, so I'm doing a BBR. Gotta remember that Jeff is my second kid right now. It doesn't happen very often. Cool. Okay, go rescue Paula. Get the shack photo. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of spooky. Skip the skip. Damn it. <clears throat> it sucks because crows are here. This is another reason to delay this. Because if my understanding is correct, spawns would be off for this because Car Painter doesn't turn them back on, so you wouldn't have to deal with the crows. So it's another reason to do it. But the cultists are gone because I beat them. Okay, get the shack photo, teleport beta to Tucson, and go to the hotel. The big difference is the out of bounds. Oh, oh, and glitchless, the cliff skips and the barricade skip in the beginning. You're just nuts. But we love you anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's basically glitchless with cliff skips, other than the exception of the barricade. Yeah, it's only talking about out of bounds, like the stairs glitch. Kind of river. Oh my god. See, this is a good reason to have this done with spawns off. This is stupid. There we go. Okay, we're going to the Tucson Hotel. And then going to do Belch. But yeah, you can think of no out of bounds as no stairs glitches. No stairs glitch. Okay, go to the hotel. Damn, I saved time there on the record, even though I had to despawn a bunch. Okay, so we're gonna go hit belch from the back. Okay, hit it from the back. Okay, so fly honey turn one, turn two, MBR. Heal the nausea on Ness, get the Saturn Valley photo, and then go to the shop. Not the inn, the shop. I make that mistake a lot. Okay, get the photo. Just needs a friend. Okay, here's the shop. Okay, we're about to find out if my save is good for my manip. I didn't know about that when I made it. The po noobs, and I feel like I save further left than I used to, but we'll see. And this manip has a couple inconsistencies inconsistencies in it. So if I drop it, it's no big deal. I could still I could still easily PB. 
even having to do it a few times. Moment of truth, this is Manip. God damn it, my controller gave me an extra cursor. What's up, Bert? Am I still out of bounds or do I have to do it again? Yep, gotta do it again. God, that's so stupid. So, any chance at world record just died right there, but that's fine. Now there's no pressure. Why well, I don't like 8-down Bs, and this is not my Manip controller. It's what I get. There's not enough Manip in it to justify it, though. But I can still easily PB. I could maybe even still... I could probably still get second, even with this time loss. Alright, let's do it right this time. Alright, it looks right. Okay, that's back up. Back up. Back up. Yo, Krayson, thanks for the host, man. Okay, the inconsistency is coming up right here. Something to do with all this lag. Didn't get it. I would have had a spawn right there. Wait for the despawn. I hate that thing when you get stuck right there. It happened to me in an any percent run. Yo, thanks for the host, man. Trying to focus on this manip here. You should go down. Yep. This is correct. He should one shot. So I lost time there. I lost about a minute because of that extra cursor input, but at least it worked, you know, first try without the stupid thing. What's up, subname? So as long as I just finish this run and I don't fuck up at, like, Cave of the Past and Gygus, I should at least get second place. Because second place is, like, five minutes off of... Uh, I could even fuck up Cave of the Past once and probably still get second. And the beginning of this run was not that good. The cliff skips weren't very quick. Um... I feel like I messed up something else. Oh, it took forever to get a goat. I had those stupid crows. Since I feel like I figured out the thing with Boogie Tent, I will focus on doing a little bit of rerouting to get the diamond later. I won't have to worry about the crows, and I won't have to worry about the manip, but I'll just have to find some manip for the krakens. So that'll save a little bit of time. And it won't lose time on going back there, because you have to go back to get the photo later. So I'll do it when I'm getting the photo. But it was even looking unlikely for world record because there's just not a lot of places to save time. The only thing I can even think of is James did a... Uh, 
He did a beta out of grapefruit. I'm going to try the alpha. I'll try it at least once. The beta... I, I'm not sure how much time a beta loses to an alpha, but it's a few seconds. For a run like this without a lot of RNG, though, those little time saves add up. But at least my manip worked. Happy about that, even though it's going to be obsolete here pretty soon. Unless there's some sort of surprise that pops up. Okay, so we're going to Saturn Valley, do the cutscene, go up to set up a, a wrong warp, and then go to Tucson and go to the department store. Okay. At this point, this should be a completed run. I feel like there's there are no there are no more surprises that could pop up. And I'm pretty confident with the Cave of the Past Manip, because it's the same as any percent. The Gigas Manip, I'm not super good on, or sure on. I think I messed it up yesterday. But that was really the first thing, other than some of those RNG segments being slow, that was really the first mistake in this run, and I'm blaming that on the controller. I swear I pressed down. I'm using my old controller, but it's not worth it. There's not that much manip in this category to justify it, because I can mash faster on this one and menu faster. Okay, so go up, and then out and then teleport to Tucson go to department store okay. thank you nitros well, I guess I don't need to use poo anymore Okay, department store. Butterfly ad and extra lag, just what I always wanted. Just what I always wanted. Okay, we are going to go left until the wall goes off screen, and then down left to Happy 3. Oh, I forgot to practice this alpha. That's another little minor time save over James, if I can get it. He, uh, or over the record, he did a beta there, but an alpha is possible. And it's really not that hard. There's just a couple things you gotta steer clear of. And I feel like yesterday I went too far left after the graveyard. I'm gonna go, like, more straight down this time. So left until the wall goes off screen, down left to happy three. Walk through here. Hi, lady. Coming through. Wait, why am I... Oh, I could have just used the map from the X button. I got to remember to do that. I, I was doing that yesterday. X is faster. Yo, Crow, thanks for the 16 months, man. Well, these are not my PB splits. I'm running against yesterday's run. I don't have a PB with this route. So I'm just comparing against yesterday's run. So I have some deltas. But this is still really good. I'm like a minute and a half behind the record right now. So definitely on PB pace. I'm on pace to get second place. And where did I say I'm going? Going to Winters. Oh, I turned too early. Son of a bitch. That would have been good, too. So you can do that. That's fine. To Winter's Drugstore. Okay.
See that? That was good. I just turned too early. But it is possible. It's not that bad. Okay, we're going up until the vacant house will be even with the area on the right. There's a nice little visual cue there. Okay, so we're going up, 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 and away. Here we go. So it's everything is the map from here on out. No more soundstone, so I just need to hit X. I had to reload the area like that on purpose, or else the photo trigger wouldn't be active. Now we're going to Lierre's house. Lierre, exaggerate, and getting the meteorite piece. Okay, where are we teleporting to? Four side. Monotoli building. All right, and that's the end of my notes. Monotoli building. Yeah, we're going to do Playgrad. This is the one where I messed up yesterday. I forgot to get the melody. I didn't, I didn't think we had to get it. I forgot. Getting the melody is what activates the photo trigger. Outside the museum. So I'm going to go left until the room is off screen, and then up left to four side. All right, left until off screen, the, the room goes off screen. Up left the force sign. Skip the carrot key, but get the melody. And this one's a bit of a walk. Use the map. Should be coming up soon. Next, maybe? Maybe? There it is. Look at that. It's like a perfect shot. Look at that. Okay, get the melody. Unlike last time. This is why I couldn't finish that run last night if you were here last night. Probably needed to delete that Geigas Gold too because I forgot to get the melody and it's on that split. Hey, Earthbound Super Series. Thank you for the host. Appreciate it. How'd the race go? Okay, use the mouse. It's going to take me to Saturn Valley. C pennant and Franklin badge on Paula. Meteorite piece to Ando Nuts. Whoa. Hey, congrats to Airframe. Bum, 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 bum. You have to sleep here to progress the story.
All right, progress to Cave of the Past and do the manip. Hey, thanks, me too. This one's gone a lot better than any of the other ones recently. You'll notice that um, just like in any percent, the broken phase distorter that has the horn of life is not here because we don't beat Moni Moni. I don't know why that's what puts it there, but it's what it is. See, it's not there. All right, I've got plenty of buffer here. I could mess up probably like a couple of times because I'm only a minute and a half behind the record. So the record's a 207. Second place is 215. I'm sorry, 212. And my PB is 217. So second place is like five minutes behind the record. And my run is like five minutes behind that. Ten minutes behind the record. Yeah, Cave of the Past and Gygus is manipulated. It's the same manip up to Gygus as any percent. The fight itself is different because we're different levels and the uh, the inventory is different. Like, we've actually got bombs and shit. Jeff actually has a crystal charm on. Actually, that doesn't matter because we won't be doing any rockets. Um... No, you have to go back in time to beat the game, or else the prayers... I mean, you could fight them, but you wouldn't be able to beat them. The prayers aren't set up, so when you start praying, you would softlock. You, the game would freeze on the first one. It wouldn't freeze, but you just would get stuck like an infinite loop, like waiting. Alright, no pressure. If I mess it up, I can still PB. Could even still get second. Because there's no chance for world record here. The the magic ant stuff killed any chance. I, it was unlikely anyway. Yeah, he's waiting for the Mr. Saturn and it never comes. Thank you, Yoshi. Thank you for the luck. Alright, so this is the Cave of the Past Manip that I've done a million times. Me too. Not in the right spot, but I took one cursor movement out. That's fine. I was able to fix it on the fly. This is Manip, dude. Yeah, it's guaranteed with the Manip. As expected. So the Gutsy Bat was two cursor movements away. I don't know why. But instead of A down B, I just did A B to fix it. Same number of updates. All right. 
right, so bash, pokey, shield, super bomb in three, super bomb in one. I should get a rock and alpha for 90 on Ness if this is correct. It's different Gigas Manip than any percent. It's not part of it, Hannibal. I didn't forget it. It's a different Gigas Manip because we're different levels and we actually have bombs and stuff. I know what I'm doing. Appreciate you looking out for me, though. I got it. I, I think. I hope. We'll see. We'll find out if I have it or not. But yeah, those inputs are definitely not part of it. Okay, super bomb in three. Super bomb in one. Thank you for lugs. Why? There's the 90. Okay, so AB times three, bash, super bomb in one, two, one. One, two, one. I don't know what damage I should get here. Oh, he, they should just finish the round. Jeff should die, I think. Cool. Okay, what's next? B, A, B times six, bash. Super bomb in one. Jeff is dead. Super bomb in one. And then bash, defend, star storm. So B, A, B times six. Bash. One. One. Got it. I can't do it in one. Can I do this in two? Nope. Tried doing a phantom. See, this happened yesterday. Whoops. So my inventory is different. Apparently. That sucks. I need to find out why that's happening and find a backup for it. Nice reflect. See, the same thing happened yesterday. I don't know why the Phantom didn't take care of it. God. Should be almost dead. Oh, left, left. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. No, would that work? No, that wouldn't work. Left, left would just put me back on the same item. That wouldn't work. I need to find out, is it maybe the Phantom is two? I don't think it is. Oh, is that is the bomb where it starts? Or was it on the right? I thought the bomb was on the right. Oh, outside of goods. Okay, I didn't think about that, you're right. Good idea. I thought you were talking about in the menu. So this is the exact same phase three that happened before. I think. I should I should life her up. Yeah, I'll uh I'll have to look and see because I fell off the manip the same way. I'll have to look and see why the inventory is different though. I don't understand why. Yeah, this fight's pretty creepy. So at this point, I'm pretty much in the clear, but I'm, I'm gonna life her up just to be safe. But she has the C pendant on in the Franklin badge. Kill the kids. Yo, nice empty turn. Sweet. So yeah, this this will be second place unless there's something stupid that I forgot and I'm gonna soft lock at the last possible minute again. 
This should be second place. I'll have splits to run against. So from here on out, I just continue to pray. There, there's no manip here because I dropped it. Although I think Manip is inconsistent in Phase 3 anyway because of the Mr. Saturns running around that, that aren't there. There's like some extra Mr. Saturns in Photo Percent that aren't there in any percent because, you know, we do more triggers in this route. Yeah, it's not right, dude. The Manip is not right. But yeah, I'll have to look and see what's what's missing in Pooh's inventory or, or my notes could be wrong I might have um I might have made a mistake in my notes because Ness is supposed to smash like every time spin that wheel what's up Balix Trana Balx Trana spin the wheel yeah at this point it's pretty much guaranteed Whoa, do nothing. That's right, Pwn Noobs. Most of the photos, there you go. Yo, another empty turn. So I need to remember that Ness is paralyzed. It's like SMRPG, most of the stuff. Actually saves two cursor movements, Nespian paralyzed there. Okay, at least Pooh's gone. Ness took some damage. That's a lot of damage. People made jokes about the name before Pole Star. Like stripper Pole Star. Kind of a weird name. That's a lot of damage. I feel good. done with the Gygus fight. We still got to go get some more photos in the post game. Show you the power of this P being. I saw this boat in half. It taped it back together. Yeah, dude. It's like, oh my god, Gygus is trending. Can I get 100 likes on this post? Unstoppable. Thank you, Blazin. What's up, 7th Circuit? Uh, yeah, monkey, there is. I had it all the way up to phase two, but my inventory was wrong and I wasn't able to fix it. Nah, this won't be world record. I'm like a minute and a half behind it right now. Gygus, rise up. Rise up, gamers. But yeah, I messed up the first try at the beginning of the, uh, the magic camp up. I sold this cart in half. But this should be second place. This should be second place. I'm happy about that. First completed run, second place. I'm down with that. Well, nice, another turn skip. Welcome back, Kryn. It feels good.
sweet. I saved time off last run because I f messed up on the Cave of the Past minute yesterday. I did some inputs a little too early. You talking about tomorrow? Uh, check the announcements channel in my Discord. I actually don't remember. I think it's like 8.30 Eastern or something. I'd have to look. It's on my Twitter too. Oh, really, Pwn Noobs? You didn't see me do any percent? And yeah, we're not done yet. We still got to get photos. My photos! Ho, 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 my precious. <laughs> All right, let me look. Um, it's. Oh no, I'm sorry. 10:30 Eastern. 7:30 Pacific. Tomorrow night. Not on my channel. It's on General Andrew's channel. I'm just commentating. They asked me to do it again. That dang guy, I guess. Yeah, bod comments are going away. I mean, they're stupid anyway. Like, half the time, people use them thinking that they're watching the fucking live stream. Like, hey, man, what's up? Hey, did you hear what I said? Uh, 1030. Cool, man. What's up, Johnny boy? Yeah, they're, the, the VOD comments are, like, worse than YouTube comments. Like, nothing of value. Let, let me let the static go away. Okay. Nothing of value is going away with VOD comments being removed. Like, anytime you're a mod for a channel, when someone posts a message, you get a notification because you have to make sure you know they're not posting something offensive. And it's always the dumbest shit. Like, people think they're watching the live stream. It's so cringy. Like, someone will say something, and then, like, 10 minutes later, like, hey, did you hear my... Did you see what I said? Like, did you answer my question? Sorry, I was gone. I'm like, dude, you're watching a VOD. How could you watch a VOD and not know it? Now, to be fair, sometimes Twitch serves a VOD instead of the live stream. I've had people do that. They, they come in, like, 10 minutes after I went live, and they're like, you're not going to believe this, but I was watching your VOD. And it took me like 10 minutes to realize it. Thanks, Twitch. Thanks, Carl. Dude, I was so close to finishing that run yesterday. Holy shit. Just once, dude. Just, just once. Just once to let you know that, you know, you're alive and you can feel something. All right, so I'm going to walk to Grapefruit, get the photo, and then teleport to Tucson. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to attempt the Alpha. It's a pretty hard teleport, though. Thanks, Carl. You motherfucker. Why were you confused? Were you wondering why you couldn't comment? I turned them off because everyone kept thinking they were watching the, the live stream and I hope that by having them off people would have a better or an easier time realizing it was a VOD and it, you know because if I'm live I'd rather them come watch me than comment on the VOD but yeah it's exactly why I did it what's up Wixmere it's like dude he disabled chat is he salty what's his problem So why did I walk left of Ando Nuts? Does that Mr. Saturn like get next to him or something? Oh no, Jeff does. Please. Thanks a lot, Jeff fucking something up at the very end of the run, getting in my way. So spawns are off right now during post game. Boop, 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 boop. 
Bum, 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 bum. So James didn't even go for the alpha here because he didn't want to lose time. I'm going to go for it though. Why not? Nothing to really lose. Oh, really? Yeah, I've done that before. Because they were doing a vodcast, I didn't realize it. Alright, so I'm going to... Tucson. Well, that was a fucking mistake. What the hell is that, man? That's not what I meant to do. I fucking, like had a fucking spasm in my thumb and went into the right. Cass, thanks for the raid, man. Thank you. So, I had it, but then I just inexplicably went right into the wall. Yeah, saying no to her is faster. Whoa. So, that looked good until I just fucking spasmed into the fucking wall. Alright, so you have to get the backstage pass. The photo isn't active until you do. And then we're gonna teleport to four side and get the photo that I couldn't get yesterday and then go to the department store. Whoa. Hold my feeding tube. Never heard of that one. Yeah, of course, besides our cerium, of course. Uh, I think there's only one, but I already got it. What's up, Nanamo? Let's call you Nanamo. So yesterday, this is where the run ended, because this trigger wasn't active. Okay, so now we're going to the department store. Bonds are off. Right there. And I'm going to bash, freeze, be, spook. Look, it's still dark. You gotta beat Spook for the trigger to be active. Uh, do the photos command, Pone Noobs. It'll show you where all 32 photos are. I know, man. Fucking gilded. Okay, so I'm doing Bash Freeze B. Hopefully Ness will smash since he's high level and has the gutsy bat. Yep. Your baby daddy, that's right, man. Fucking Inception. You motherfucker. You didn't smash. You didn't smash again. Yeah, this is going to be my first time completing the run. At this point, it's uh, it's a guaranteed finish because this is the last photo other than the automatic one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Couldn't remember where it was. Oh, well, well I guess there's the one outside Mole Cave. I wasn't. That one's automatic, though. Like, you can't avoid it. But yeah, there's two if you count that. All right. And now just teleport to Onet. And in this category, the uh, the text skip actually matters. So I've already gotten the photo, so there won't be a photo skip there. But you can get dialogue from uh, Paula at the door. And getting the text normally doesn't matter because the timer stops at Gygus, but since timing stops at Mom, it's actually a time loss to fail it. All right, so this will probably be what, like a 210 maybe? 211, something like that. So this will be second place. Oops. Let's see if I got it. Got it, got the text skip. Thank you, abortion sandwich. Okay, I have a foot pedal so I can split here. Uh, optimally. 
There it is. Oh, it was a 209. Wow, dude. Hell yeah, sub 210 on my first completed run. Thank you for the GG, Leo Docs. All right, man, that's some good stuff. So I moved, I finally got a PB in this damn category. Two minutes and 17 seconds off the uh, the record. Thank you, Hannibal. Thank you, Wixmere. Thank you, Yoshi, Pwn Noobs, Jay, Tracy, Alumno, Zach, John. No, it's not world record, William. I was, it's second place though. Thank you, Flying Man. Sorcerer Siege, thank you. I will run it back. It's a nice thing about a two hour category. No, that wasn't world record. I'm, uh, but I did move up from third to second. Thank you, Not Riley. Thank you, Peen Train, Pila, Namo, Corinne. I did do it. Thank you. River. Yeah, I'm gonna do another one. Thank you, Edgy Name. Cast. Thank you, Zwai. How do I feel about it? I feel good, Josh. I messed up the, the Gygus Manip again. Although I got it into phase two, I messed up the magic hand manip as well. And then like the beginning was slow. Like it took forever to get a um a goat. Some of the cliff skips took a little bit, I think. Run back for world record. Thank you, Al. Yeah, not a soft lock, Snoop Doop. Thank you. There is river. It's automatically added to your uh your album. You'll see it. All 32 photos will show. They'll, they'll display. It's the one in Saturn Valley after you beat Gygus. Thank you, Pila. Thank you, everybody. That that one you don't see the photo guy for. But it is there. It will display. I... It's not in the rules, but you'd be a jerk if you didn't include it in your highlight. You you should do it. I, unless they changed it. I mean, it's considered... It's considered tradition to watch the credits for a PB anyway. I think that started because a long time ago, people were worried that the timing might change from RTA to JRTA and their run would be invalid because it had already changed from SDA to RTA timing. I am Solex. Once this is done, I'm gonna use bathroom and then do it again. I'll, I might get a really quick snack. It's my boy Belch. Thank you, Shay. No, I didn't. I didn't skip it. It's it's just through regular play of the game. It's just automatically added to your photo album when you beat uh when you beat Gaius. And then it shows up. There's no photo guy, but it's not a skip. It's just it's just the way it is. Yeah, it's actually to be continued in Mother 2, but it's the end in Earthbound. Hell yeah, man. So this is second place. I'm happy with that. <laughs> really happy with that. That made up for all the uh all the problems. And then there's still improvements to be had here. If I could get a solid... Hey, that's right. You're right. That's true. If I could get a solid Gygus Manip all the way through Phase 3, I could cut out getting the C Pendant. Um... Man, would I even need the Franklin Badge? Like... I mean, I guess I would still... I would still have to get Paula back, right? You would still have to do department store. Did you have to get the photo, but... I guess if you could do spook with just solo Ness, you could probably just auto-fight them. Right, I mean, that's the thing. I would be committing to hitting the Manip. No, because I'm talking about Manip in the fight. Like, we don't have the Franklin badge in any percent. But assuming that I could manip the whole fight or I know I'm not going to die, I'm trying to think. I I don't think that you have to do car painter for any sort of trigger. Like it's, oh, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I know what it is. You have to do them anyway because you have to rescue Paula to get the cabin photo. She, that photo is not active until you rescue her. So you got to do it anyway. Never mind.
Oh, yeah. So here's the photos. I wasn't even looking. So this is why some people call this the closest thing that Earthbound has to 100%, because it's like the, the true ending or the complete ending. All of the photos that you get through the run display right here, in Glitchless, we only get like four of them. We get, uh, we get the one, we get the waterfall for Belch's base. We get the gold mine entrance. We get the Tenda village one when you talk to the chief. And then we get the one that's automatically added to your album in Saturn Valley, like when you beat the game. The selfie generation, yep. Well, I know of one of them already because James told me. He said that he thought that Car Painter turned spawns back on, but it doesn't. So if I delay getting the diamond until post game, I can do not only Magic Camp with no spawns, I would still have to manip the Krakens, obviously, and I would want to manip the fight. But additionally, there would be no crows because right now, when you go rescue Paula, um, the crows are there. And they're really annoying, and they still come for you. Like, I, I had to despawn through the door, like, two or three times this run before I could get the cabin photo. What do you mean, Shay? We skipped tons of stuff. Like, we basically skip anything we can that isn't needed for the photos. I mean, there's a couple other things we get for safety. Like, technically, C Pendant and Franklin Badge... Well, you got to get the Franklin badge anyway, but Sea Pendant is only for Gygus so that you don't have to hit the Manip. You know, to get all the way there and lose it because you dropped the Manip would be pretty dumb. Yeah, you can Death Warp past it, Pean Train. And you have to actually drag a spawn over because spawns are off after the fifth mole. Yeah, the one in Saturn Valley is not active until you kill Belch. Right, well, that's why I said it's the closest thing to 100%. Like, I didn't say it is. Like, it's the it, the idea of the ending. It's like the 100% ending, I guess. I mean, we're skipping things in the game, but they're not tracked. Like, the photos are the only things that are tracked. Gonzo, you missed a PB. I'm... I'm no dog, that's correct. You tracking, bro? And here's all the photos. But yeah, th th I guess maybe 100% is not the best term, but like the, the full ending, the complete ending, true ending, what whatever, you know. Like some people say that rescuing the... saving the animals in Super Metroid is like the canon ending, you know, because then they shoot out and I guess they appear later in other games or whatever. But this is like the complete ending. And that's exactly why we don't have a 100% category, because nobody can agree on it. that obscure people do it a lot oh oh i see so you mean obscure in the game not obscure in like what you see Yeah, no thanks, man. People have done it. Pe people have actually not only gotten every 1 out of 128, but every fucking item in the whole entire game. I miss you. Wait, what? Seventh Circuit? What the hell? Is that a copy pasta? Uh, not yet. We gotta walk down to Picky knocking on the door.
But yeah, the single segment barricade skip would be nice. I'll have to look at the money. Hannibal, did you hear what I said earlier? You could get the... If you can somehow make it work, only getting two sandwiches in Brooklyn Park, you could just pick up this, the trash sandwich in three, because right now we're skipping it. Oh, it was in development. But it doesn't say to be continued on here. It just says the end. It's to be continued on Mother 2. Had they already canceled it or something when this was localized? Yeah, little Mac, I'm doing another one. I'm going I'm to take a really short break, though. Use the bathroom and get a, get a super quick snack. Ba Boom, the end. There we go. So that is second place. Let me uh, let me reset my splits here. Hello. Why can't I reset? It's because I took a damn screenshot. There we go. So there we go. I have splits. And then compare against personal best. There we go. Yeah, it's a PB. I got second place. So not too bad for a uh, first completed run. Although I had a couple runs that were like super close. That soft locked really late. So uh, thank you for all the GGs. Thanks for everybody sticking up with all the resets yesterday and in the uh, the the previous attempts and stuff. But uh, I'm happy with that. So now I'll have splits and hopefully all the the kinks are worked out. And now we just keep doing runs, you know, until uh, until we get the the run. But thanks again for all the GGs. I appreciate it. I'm gonna do one more, but like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a really quick break and then uh, and then I'll do another.